And the writer of Hebrews tells us in Hebrews 2.11, this is an amazing, amazing verse. He says that Jesus is not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Then Hebrews chapter 2, verse 12, there's a quote here from Psalm 22. It's a quote of Jesus. This is what the, the, the writer of Hebrews is saying. This is what Jesus says. And Jesus is saying this to God the Father, Hebrews 2.12. He says, I will tell of your name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation. I will sing your praise. That's Jesus speaking. Jesus is saying these words in Psalm 22. And do you see what he's doing here? Jesus is leading us in praise. He's a worship leader. He's leading us in praise. And this is amazing because it means that the praise that we give to God, the, the praise and the joy that we have in Jesus is praise and joy that we have with Jesus. It means that, that we should never hear him saying to us, praise me or rejoice in me. But instead, he's saying more than that. Instead, he's saying, join me in my joy. You get, the, you get the difference there? He's not, he's not just saying, praise me. Join me. Join me in my joy. Because remember, you know, he doesn't need our praise. God, look, God does not need our rejoicing. He doesn't need it. And that's the only reason. That's the reason that we have hope to actually rejoice in truth. The joy that Jesus calls us to is deeper than the universe. It's from before the foundations of the world. It's what's behind. The joy of Jesus is what's behind everything we see. This is the joy of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that was and is and is to come. And that's why, that is the only reason why we can have real joy no matter our circumstances. Because this joy, the joy that we're called to, is joy that is as deep as God himself. This joy is deeper than anything, which means this. It means the joy we're called to is deeper than our pain, our hurts. Because we have them, we all have them. We all have them. Losses. Pain hurts. And see, sometimes I think, and we're all, we all do this, sometimes I think we can get confused and we can think that um, our joy, we're just supposed to have a, enough joy to cover over the pain. Right? We just, we want to cover over, the, maybe suppress the pain with our joy. We can think about it, the image I think, which is unhelpful, not good, is to think about it like a pie chart. Right? We got our pie chart. And we just say, man, as long as we got more joy in the pie than hurt, we're going to be okay. All right? It's not the way to think about it. We can't ignore the pain. We don't cover over the pain. Instead, we drill down through the pain. Drill down through the pain to what is most real to what is most true. What we want to do is we want to get down beneath the losses. We want to get down beneath the cancer. Get down beneath the disappointment. Drill down beneath the broken relationships. And when we drill down to what is most true, to what is most real, there we find God who is full of joy, everlasting joy. It's a joy that Jesus invites us into. Would you, would you come to that joy? Don't you want that joy? Get down deep to the joy, man. That's what we want. Because that joy is deeper than the universe. It's deeper than the universe. 